Now that my VGA 640x480 circuit on my breadboard seems to be quasi-functional, I thought I would get that converted over to a PCB and see how much of the noise I can get rid of. So I have taken the circuit that you see on the screen. This is the latest version of it, and I think I have this posted on my blog uh, as far as this version of it. But if I go ahead and take a look at that, I have done the full routing on it and it looks something like this. There is a lot there. So maybe I'll just view a 2D version of it just for a second. And it looks something like this. And so that's the front of it. You can see I've done the copper fill, so I'm hoping that'll help with power distribution uh, throughout. Uh, maybe if I flip to the back side of it, and you know, that's what the back side looks like. And again, copper fill, and I think I've got ground on the bottom and I have VCC on the top and I suppose I better just verify that real quickly which will just take a second so I can go into my copper layers and basically look at the properties and this is a two layer board as you can see and then if I get in here I have the actual copper fills so here's one of them that is VCC I'm looking at and then here's another that is ground okay so that all looks good so I've got my two layers, going back to my photo view, I have my VCC filled in, and then on the other side, I have my ground filled in. Plus, as I did with my 286 board, I increased all of the VCC and ground tracks to be a full one millimeter. And you can see this board is packed all the way to the edge, which that probably isn't ideal, but there's just a lot of traces here to try to get this all in a two layer board. So maybe I can take a look at this in a 3D view for a second. And so this is what it's starting to look like. And dimensions wise, I think it's about a little over five inches tall and about 11 inches wide, over 11 inches wide. So this is a large card uh, to say the least. And um, I don't know if there's much I can do about that right now. I think I could eventually shrink this down a bit if I was to go to a four layer board. I just don't want to do that right now. They're a little costly and I imagine this card isn't going to be perfect and I'll have a quick turnaround and probably some updates that I'll need to do to it. But this is the card that I'm going to go ahead and order up and I can probably go see what this is going to cost. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a $10 board. And I am going to double check my DRC just to make sure everything is still clean on that. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, so actually that's not too terribly bad. Uh, the price for five boards is $20. And then I've got to add $20 shipping. Shipping usually is this much or more than the boards themselves it seems like. Uh, so I'm up to, uh, I'm going to say approaching $10 a board. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and get ordered up, and we'll see maybe in a few weeks if I get that in and get it populated, if I can make that work or not. Something to look forward to, and then at that point I can ditch that entire breadboard off to the right of my 286 and really start treating this more like a, a full system that is on PCB. So we'll see how that goes.